Okay, today we're gonna start trying to repair the air conditioning on this 1988 E150. This is the accumulator right here. I'm able to move this here, electrical connection here. That's the accumulator. Now when it comes to the accumulator, uh, you can see it's connected here. These are usually kind of tricky. I have this set here. This is what you need to pick up. I'll have a link in the description. Find one that fits this uh, piping here pretty good. Go around this side. And the cool thing about this is it opens it, will be able to snap in. Not sure if this is the right size or not. Might need one bigger. So it snaps in like this. Holy. F okay, once we get that snapped in, try to find it. Try to slowly put it here to pull the spring. You hear a click right there? You hear that click? Now it should be able to come out. Okay. Easier said than done there, but we got it out. At least that one. For the accumulator. Okay. So that's this side. And this side is going to be... Oh, um, I, don't, I don't have no idea how we're going to get that, but I'm going to try. It's like I said, unplug this electrical connection. If you have it like this, I'm going to try to wheel fingers in. And then as to the bolts, I see one bolt here. One more room, I'm going to remove this here. Map sensor, whatever we got here. A little bolt right there. And that's one, second one over here. Okay, so just keep track of everything. These two are for map sensor. Right there, map sensor. Now that those are loose, this can kind of move out of the way. So anyway, for a little more freedom of maybe to be able to move this around, maybe we can get a little closer and access that a little better. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this bolt, 7 16th right here. Okay, it's an accumulator bolt. I'm gonna put this in with this long plier tool. And then I'm gonna use a screwdriver Kind of pull the bottom one open and clip it. Okay, so that'll give it some more freedom to wiggle out of that hose, hopefully. Well, this one took me a while, but I was able to, once you undo that bolt, I was able to stick my finger, my hand in there. It turned out it was the size 5'8, 16 millimeter. Finally, I was able to care, make sure you click both sides, click, click, it was clicked in. And I just kind of had to wiggle it with this, grab it on here, and I just wiggled it and it finally came out. It took me a while. Go ahead and remove the entire battery as well. Give some extra room. Gonna remove this here because it's uh, in the way of getting out the accumulator. It's 5.5 millimeters. Okay, this goes to the side here. Let's see if we can get this out now. And there we have it. Accumulator is removed. Now on top of this accumulator, I already unscrewed it. You can use a seven uh, millimeter wrench. Um, or whatever wrench fits it, but it's a AC pressure switch And we can remove that from here and you could put it on the new accumulator or you can order a brand new pressure switch if you want Just to have a fresh part, but uh, AC pressure switch is on top of there. So we had and unscrewed that So before I slipped it in there, it was actually a little harder to connect than I thought But I got this connected it popped in and see it clicked into the other side. So that one's good to go uh, This thing can just hang here, this is to help get it off in the future, if someone needs it, um, or they can use the tool. Now I'm worried about how I'm gonna connect it to there. So it's a little harder than I thought. But we're gonna slip this in, and I'm gonna try to connect it. Once I connect it to there, then we'll bolt it in. Now I got it in here, but it's not all the way connected to this back one. I'm having to put my hand in here, grab it from the bottom, kind of turn it like this, and just really, Pushing in there. Sorry. 
no matter how hard I push on this thing, it won't connect. No matter how hard I push on this, uh, it won't lock. I can't get it, get it in so far. It goes in like that. But it's still not connected. It's not click. It's not clicking in. It's not pushing back the spring. I can't get it to go in far enough. I have no idea what's why it won't go. I mean, I can push and push and push. When I put in here, it actually goes in. I can push as hard as I can. I can go. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I push, it will not click in. It just won't connect. I can wiggle it, I can shake it, I can push and push and push from every angle I can. There's not too many angles. Uh, yeah, I was able to get this one connected. Um, I disconnected it just to have some more wiggle room to try to get this thing in, but I cannot, this will not click. It will not click. So you saw me struggling there with that accumulator and it turned out, I believe something was just wrong with the accumulator. Now there's a silver one available. There's also a black one available. I bought the silver one because it looked exactly like the one that was in before and it just wouldn't connect. Ended up I ordered a black one here, the correct part, and it snapped right in. So just snap that in. This one snapped right in. It is good to put a little bit of pag oil on those O-rings, but um, and then of course you bolt that in before and then just put everything back the way it was. That's it. Uh, just bolt everything back the way it was. The uh, solenoid here, bolt that back in. Put the battery back in if you want. You don't have to right away, you know, if you're doing other work too and changing out the uh, con uh, other AC components as well. But uh, this black one just hooked right in perfectly. And then uh, screw, screw on either a brand new or the old AC pressure switch. And you can connect the electrical connection and, and you're good. And your accumulator has been changed. And so uh, I went through so much trouble with this accumulator, not to mention every other part of the AC system. It was an absolute nightmare. If you want to hear the whole story, which is pretty funny and crazy, uh, go ahead and click on that link that's there right now. And you're going to hear a crazy story. Thank you guys for checking out this video. We'll talk to you in the next one.